another SPAC. What's up, Money Geeks, Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about ticket symbol APXT. This is Apex Technology Acquisition, which is a blank check company that's in the process of taking Halfpoint Public. So Halfpoint is a software as a service or SaaS company that provides the migration, management, and security of Microsoft 360 cloud solutions and as well as their SharePoint data for different customers. So if you look at it from your perspective, you have Microsoft 360 solutions over here. You have customers over here. Halfpoint bridges that gap between the two, providing them that kind of a migration management and security of their data. So it's, I mean, to me, it's a, it's a good solution that is out there. Um, I just worry that what if Microsoft decides to create their own solution? But before we get started and look in details of uh, Halfpoint, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So let's take a look here at Halfpoint again. Um, you can just go through their website here it's a company that provides a cloud-based uh, solution for migration management and protection of uh, Microsoft 360 and SharePoint um, data across um, enterprises so they are kind of a bridge like I mentioned earlier for the solution so if we take a similar uh, solution here that we have profile on the channel if we look at jam F which does the same thing provides a similar solution but on the Apple site so it does pretty much the same thing uh, but for Apple products so they went public um, just this past July and uh, when they went public they started trading at about $39 and um, the see a high of about $41 and some change and since then um, they've actually gone down and now right sitting at about $30 and some change half point it's in that a similar boat which you are relying solely on um, Microsoft so if Microsoft were to take a hit in any shape or form this business model right here would crumble I mean I understand there's a lot of businesses that depend on each other uh, for their survivor but this is uh, again these two companies are solely in existence because of Microsoft and um, for good reasons Microsoft and Apple have been in business for a very very long time and I don't see them going anywhere anytime soon um, the only thing is if uh, Microsoft decides that they want to build their in-house solution that matches this. I don't see how Halfpoint can survive that. So that is a potential, um, you know, drawback for the company. But bes beside that, they, I mean, it looks like they're doing great. They've been in business since uh, 2001 and uh, operate in like over 14, uh, I mean, 88 different uh, countries. And so I, I think they have something that, you know, Microsoft likes and um, likes to partner with them and make their life easy. Uh, what they do, in my opinion, is they help Microsoft sell Microsoft's products. So uh, let's just take a look at their uh, investor presentation here that they put together and just see what's there for us. So if we see basically this is uh, Apex Technology Acquisition. Um, these are their, the CEOs and the people. And again, this company doesn't, um, it's just a blank check company. So you have a bunch of people come together, put money and start a company that the, I, the idea here is to go out and find a really good company and taken public so that's what these guys are, are here doing so if we look at summary of the transaction that's going to happen here so the market capitalization after this would be the value uh the value half point at about two billion dollars which i mean to me that's that's pretty big um, for the fact that, I mean, most people don't even know what half point does. So that is our, a huge our market capitalization, $2 billion. So I mean, some of their, their solutions here as far as data management. And the reason I, I know a lot about it is because I do work in tech. So I understand um, the, the overall solution that they are providing here and how it does help organizations, you know, kind of uh, stay um, afloat and stay ahead of technology. So again, this is the, the thing that I explained earlier. So you have Microsoft solutions here, like Office Tools 365. And then on the on the other side here, you have 
uh, companies that are operating on enterprises and then Halfpoint comes in there and, and bridge that gap providing if they need some sort of migration, if they need uh, a security management, they step in and, and help provide all those uh, different solutions for them, which makes the life of the organization um, very easy because they don't have to worry about it uh, because you have a third party that's taking care of it. So I think to me that is uh, something that you, they, you know, they, they do that really gives uh, uh, companies that leverage Microsoft technology uh, an open hand. So again, these are some of their key advantages. Um, you can just kind of read through this and see, uh, again, from Microsoft Cloud Focus perspective, data protection, compliance, which is a huge uh, when you're talking about working and having different uh, governments around the world. The fact that you have a company that can come in and, and help with that compliance and then overall um, scalability and automation, um, which takes away a lot of the re re repetitive tasks that most people would have to do. So that is uh, huge. Overall, if you look at the history here, they're looking at, hey, by 20, uh, 2022, uh, overall digital transformation um, market would be about 1.8 trillion, which, man, that is a lot of money. Um, if you just take a little bite of that apple, that is huge. And then look at just kind of a customer-based perspective. Um, what they're looking at, hey, major com uh, companies here um, across the board. So again, based on the fact that uh, Microsoft has a, a good hold in the marketplace with their technology, based on the fact that these guys have been working with Microsoft since 2001, it gives them a, a really good advantage. And the partnership to me seems to be um, a great one. Our financial profile you see here from 2019 all the way to projected 2022 they're looking at you know a significant growth of about 30 percent um, for their revenue and their real current revenue of about 38 percent so that's that's good projections i mean if he holds true then they're sitting pretty good and then again this is just kind of the growth um the summary of their, their revenue profile. Um, what I'm mostly interested here is if you look at the total revenue here, um, how it's growing um, year um, over year. So from 2020 um, to 2022 projected, I mean, it's, it's, it's showing like increased growth, which is what you want to see for, for most companies. Most technology companies in, in, in this stage would probably not be profitable. So the fact that they're even showing some sort of, a, um, you know, revenue growth that is showing a good sign of, of, of profitability to me that is good because like i said most companies in this state usually uh, tend to invest a lot of their money back in the company to try to uh, for innovation for r d and, and so this company I, I guess because they've been in business for that long have already taken care of uh, some of the things that uh, we we see here yeah, so here again um there is some a transaction summary of what's going to happen um so expected close date i think this is what you guys most of you guys are looking at so expected close date would be uh, q1 of 2021 so looking forward to that so as of when we were recording this uh right now um apxt is trading at about ten dollars and 74 cents in um so we are going to see and that's that moved a little bit after the announcement because before the announcement it was about like maybe like 10 50 then after since they made the announcement um the stock has moved up just a little bit but i mean i don't anticipate seeing a really strong major move here because if i take a similar comparison to a company like jam f that came out out of the gate strong and then so started pulling back uh, i don't anticipate that um you know half point is going to come out and be this wonderful home run this is there's some potential there but um i don't see it being so sort of, some sort of a, a home run just right out of the gate so basically guys um again this is a company um that relies solely on a, a specific technology so in this case they rely a lot i mean a hundred percent reliability on microsoft so if my anything would happen to microsoft these guys are going to be impacted and i said the exact same thing when i profiled jam f it was these guys depend a lot i mean their business model is built around apple granted these are top companies and companies that have been in business for a very long time and have shown that they can sustain 
in, in the ups and downs of the market, so which is good. But again, to, to me, uh, if Microsoft decides to build an in-house solution to overtake um, you know, half point, I don't see how they can stop that, just like Jam F. The partnership is good. Um, I don't anticipate that this stock is gonna come out of the gate and just skyrocket. So personally, I'm gonna sit on the sideline, watch this one and see what happens. And if I see some potential in there, then I might get in. I'd rather be late to the party than get in and get burned. So I, I'm gonna wait and see uh, what happens. I'm, I'm anticipating that uh, on, the, on the day that they, 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 they close the deal, and you'll probably see a little spike in, in, in the stock. But other than that, I don't anticipate to see like a major move that would really push the stock to let's say 30 40 50 dollars um i i may be wrong here but that's just my my take because i'm basing this on history looking at jam f so question of the day uh what do you think about this do you think hey no this is not groundbreaking technology there's nothing that these guys are doing that it's not um out there already or you think hey this might be a great opportunity uh to to make some money again let me know in the comments section and as always guys if you're looking to get started with investing we is currently doing a promotion where if you sign up right now and deposit hundred dollars you get four free stocks links in the description definitely go check them out when you sign up you get a free stock i get the free stock that's what helps me to continue to put content like this uh, for you guys and as always don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated